Turning our attention, Rachel, to young Hollywood and the vaccine. Oh. All right, look at this sexy shot, Sophie and Joe. They look great. Yeah, they're vaxxed up. We have, let's see, next up, a young and vibrant television host Wait a minute. Here. Wait a That's minute. That's getting his vaccine. I don't know who that is. Very young, though. Very wait, low. wait. I thought we were doing a young Hollywood segment. Wow, is that legal? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, the very talented Britney Spears and Sam Asghari, her boyfriend. It was nothing. I felt nothing. I'm fine. And I hope I continue to stay fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Fine and hoping she continues to stay fine. Does it help when celebrities like Mariah Carey, Dolly Parton, sing for vaccines? The public trusts celebrities when they are actually active and excited about getting vaccinated. There is no question that that has an impact on the general public's ability to understand that, look, if they're doing it, maybe we should do it. Mariah Carey maybe should sing the, uh, you know, take me out to the ball game at the Arlington Stadium there for the Texas Rangers. Did you see that scene? Holy mackerel, 40,000 people packed in. No masks, no distancing. Is that concerning to you or the people have had enough? I understand the people have had enough, but it is concerning to me because, you know, we're so close and then why, why are we doing this to ourselves? It seems like, like we're a glutton for punishment. This is a very disturbing thing to read that one third of COVID survivors were later diagnosed with some type of mental health or neurological, you know, problem. This virus loves to sit on nerves, okay? And so nerves, including the brain, which is a nerve and yeah nerve endings along your body so you have neurologic symptoms. There are people who are scared of the second vaccine shot because it's going to be fever and chills all day long. What do you say to them? That is a small price to pay for freedom and health. If you consider what I had to deal with in this hospital where unfortunately our morgues were full and then we're talking about aches and pains from a second shot, come on. And that second shot gets us to freedom. I had my second vaccine shot earlier today. Forecast how rough it could be. It could be as rough as you're gonna fall asleep a little early, you're gonna have maybe some chills, maybe feel feverish. And in two days, you'll not even remember the side effects because you'll be like, all right, man, I am free. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.